For millions of Americans in the West, the only question this weekend is when will it end? Storm after storm, downpour after downpour, as California faces a January of seemingly nonstop rain and snow. Yeah, that flooding rain and feet of dangerous snow falling across the state this weekend, causing travel dangers and power outages to tens of thousands. President Biden approving an emergency declaration for California. This morning, flooding, heavy rain battering California as an atmospheric river brings yet another round of dangerous life-threatening conditions. In Orange County, fast rising waterways, swift water rescue teams rushing to save a woman desperately clinging to a tree. The woman rescued by helicopter, pulled from the fast moving water, set down safely. In Santa Cruz, neighborhoods flooded. This man driving through feet of water to see the damage left by the heavy rain to his home. And in the mountains, heavy snowfall bringing traffic to a halt near Lake Tahoe. Visibility near zero. I mean, it is pretty tall. And in Soda Springs, walls of snow with up to three feet more forecasted. Now the good news is right now California in a lull. The bad news is another storm system will slam them later on tonight into tomorrow. Look at this, 10 states under flood, wind, and snow alerts this morning, and that is expanded east. Here's the latest timing. We've got that one storm system that's pushing east, bringing rain to the middle of the country. Another storm system coming into California, slamming it with rain and snow. Then as we head into Tuesday, the Rocky Mountains get a lot of snow. The northeast begins to get rain. And then by Wednesday, that storm system strengthening in the middle of the country. Now to the new storm on the move across the country as hard hit California recovers. Matt Rivers is in Douglas County, Nevada, where the snow is piling up. Good morning, Matt. Yeah, good morning, Robin. Finally here in California, a brief lull in the series of brutal storms that have buffeted the state of California for weeks now. People trying to take advantage, clean up a little bit here in California. Of course, in the mountains, that means plowing snow. You can see those giant snow piles behind me as parts of this region, the Sierra Nevada mountains, have received more than two and a half times the amount of snow they would normally get at this point. Of course, overnight flooding risks remain, landslide risks remain, uh, and we know the search is ongoing for missing five-year-old boy Kyle Doan. He was swept away by floodwaters on Monday. The National Guard uh, sending dozens of its members to help in that search. This lull in these series of storms not going to last, unfortunately, however, moving into the weekend into early next neat week we will see more storms move into the state of california that means more inches of rain robin and here in the mountains more feet of snow so number seven on top of us now number eight coming but who's counting everybody's counting because we want to see when this ends but this next one for saturday less than 36 hours away that's going to be big it is going to just bludgeon everyone there from redding down to los angeles with heavy rains and again feet of snow we're talking 60 to 80 inches in the sierra now, some of the storms have made their way over the Rockies. One of them will develop severe storms today. Anybody from Chattanooga down to southern Alabama and Georgia needs to watch for tornadoes, but also damaging wind and hail, especially Atlanta, Birmingham, Montgomery. This is going to be rain as it moves up into the northeast and a wraparound snow, so there are a couple of winter weather advisories in northern New England. The answer to when this ends looks like by January 20th, the pattern starts to shift. So we will keep counting until then.